What is Candida glabrata? Have you ever wondered about the tiny organisms that live in and on our bodies? One such organism is Candida glabrata, a fascinating species of yeast. This microorganism is part of the class fungi imperfecti and is commonly found in our mouths, digestive systems, and even in the vaginal area. While it usually coexists peacefully with us, it can turn harmful under certain conditions, especially in people with weakened immune systems. Candida glabrata is unique because it does not change its from like some other fungi. It primarily exists as a yeast and does not from the branching structures known as pseudohyphae. Instead, it grows as small round cells called blastocanidia, which are typically between one and for micrometers in size. This size is quite small, making it difficult to see without a microscope. When you look at Candida glabrata on agar plates, you will notice that its colonies are smooth and cream-colored. However, if you use a special medium called chromagar, the colonies will appear pink to purple. This color difference helps scientists distinguish it from other species, such as Candida albicans, which shows up as green or blue-green on the same medium. Genetically, Candida glabrata has a haploid genome, unlike many other Candida species that have diploid genomes. This genetic difference can influence how it responds to various environmental stresses and antifungal treatments. Now, let's talk about its ability to cause infections. Candida glabrata is known to be a significant pathogen, particularly for those with compromised immune systems. It can from biofilms, which are clusters of microorganisms that stick to surfaces and are often resistant to antifungal medications. This resistance makes treating infections caused by Candida glabrata quite challenging. Understanding Candida glabrata is essential for managing candidiasis, which refers to a range of diseases caused by Candida species. These infections can vary from mild skin irritations to severe bloodstream infections. By recognizing the characteristics of Candida glabrata, healthcare providers can develop better diagnostic and treatment strategies. This includes accurately identifying the species and choosing the right antifungal medications based on its resistance patterns. In summary, Candida glabrata is a small yeast that plays a dual role in our bodies. It can be harmless but also has the potential to cause serious infections, especially in vulnerable individuals. Knowing more about this microorganism helps us understand its impact on health and how to manage infections effectively.